Roll call of directors, please. Mr. Butler, present. Mr. Durkin, present. Mr. Ferris, present. Mr. Hallinan, present. Mr. Walton, present. Mr. Fosco, present. Mr. Taylor, present. Mr. Suma, present. Mr. Marak, present. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. session held immediately following the work session on Wednesday, June 18th, 2014 for personnel and legal matters. The floor is now open for public discussion. Anybody that has anything to say, come up front, state your name and address. High school coach. 
Lakeland is looking for a girls' high school and junior high coach. The Lakeland junior high coach has been picked up by the Red Bulls Farm Club. That's the uh, MLS team over in New Jersey. And is working with them now. It's really amazing to think that you won't have this small, small opportunity for change. It's really amazing that the World Cup is going on right now. It's the world's most popular sport. I know it's not the most popular sport in other ones. I continue to think that there's room in the budget. Your observation is that it might cost as much as $7,000 the first year and $5,000 the subsequent year. My suggestion is that if we put $7,000 in the numerator and I can't remember what the total budget is, 16 point something, I'm sorry, thank you. 19 million in the denominator, that fraction is, is pretty small. That, that's a, it's a pretty small difference. And I, I recognize it's tight, but parents are coming to you with their request. And we're coming again and again, and it's not changing. And we are exceptionally frustrated by the lack of visibility and the reluctance to change. I'm sorry, I, I have to go pick up my child's soccer practice. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Uh, Ryan Festo, 234 West Virginia Street. Um, sorry, I'm late. I don't know if I'm late. I think it's come on and uh, add my thoughts on it. Um, I read the article in Straight Times. Um, kind of disappointed, kind of understood what's going on. Uh, things I thought that can be done, which I know other school districts have done, not around here, but nationwide, is you can ask for registration money from students who want to play sports. Um, you look at all, every, most of our clubs here are French clubs, fans, clubs here are banned. Our band, when they want to go on a trip, go somewhere, do a trip, they have to do fundraising and pay for stuff themselves. I, you know, most parents, most kids nowadays, know they, they, they want to play sports and pay. Doctor is one of the cheapest sports you can do. I personally wouldn't mind spending twenty-five, fifty dollars for my kid to play soccer in school. I think that they would, you know, you know, give them an opportunity to play for the school. Uh, it would, uh, you know, help help build pride in the, in the school at a younger age, which is one thing you know in Dunmore we try to encourage. Um, like Tom Cole said, around our area, you, you see where we are getting a lot more exposure to higher caliber coaches. He mentioned that we had uh, J uh, Justin Cardo, who is was Lakeland junior high coach, start you know just started coaching Red Bulls at 25 years of age. Um, one reason why he left is because he kind of got frustrated with how schools around this area are reluctant to. Um, build up on their programs. You know, it's bad for us, it's good for them. Um, you know, there are a lot of schools around here that are looking for coaches. I know Lakeland, I think all, all their coaches are, you know, they're looking for all the coaches. Um, and, and, and like Tom said, there was a couple other schools around here that are looking for coaches. Schools are starting to realize they need better coaches, they want better players. Um, it's everything that just around right now, like World Cup. No, I, I, I think I mentioned last couple of times with it. The World Cup, uh, Women's World Cup next year, Olympics, Euros, um, uh, English Premier League is being held by the NBC. ESPN is showing all, almost all the MLS games this season, starting this season. So kids are being exposed to high caliber soccer. Like even tonight, after this meeting, there's a semi pro team on Spring that's playing at the University of Spring. They're not the greatest team, but it's something that you know local kids can go to and watch, and you know, get, you know, and just soak that in. It's a great experience. Um, that's what and that's what all comes down to: is getting these kids experience that they're gonna, you know, they're, they're gonna cherish when they get older. Um, I, I like watching, like when the kids, like especially after they graduate, where they keep playing, even just a pickup game on a Sunday or a Friday. Going on a riverfront playing adult leagues, or even, you know, I know there's a couple kids, and there's one kid, uh, I think his name's Chris Walsh, who played a dumb I think that's the name. He was over at 
Chinese, we just put over a China for a while. Now, I don't know if I mixed up my ego there or how they got involved with anything. They just put it illegal over there. So, you know, it's kids, you know, kids are using it as a tool. Um, also, you know, open them up to different cultures. My son and daughter have, you know, played with people from all over the world right at Penn State Worthington because these people come here. This is, you know, they come to our area. This is a common thing that they can play together. Um, so, you know, it's, it benefits on a whole lot of different levels. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Brian. Brian. Yes. I hesitate to bring myself up to myself and attorney just to reflect about the possibility of a club where a parent would be responsible to get them there where you guys would be the coaches and they could play in that way. I don't know if the league would accept that. We're just kind of talking back and forth here where you guys would be responsible for everything. You have to raise your own, do your own fundraising. You know, a lot of people are saying that there's funds to be raised and there's a lot of interest in it. We'd all like to see it. We'd all like to see the kids have something to participate in, something to keep them occupied, and something that they'd enjoy. And it's a great feeder program into our system. But you know, people are asking us for computers, whiteboards, and everything else. And we're having to say, no, no, no. And it's very difficult then to say, well, you're going to allow a soccer sport for $7,000, but you won't give us whiteboards for the kids uh, to learn on. So, you know, it's, it's a hard decision for these gentlemen to make to try and say no to people when, when it's something that everybody would like to do. And it's very hard to sit here and say that, you know, we don't want it to, because we do. And, and hopefully we get a new governor and we get some education money, you know, we, we will be able to do that. But in the meantime, I don't know, maybe a, a club program, which for you guys could fund, would, would allow us to have you participate, but we would yeah, I'm not that, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I believe that North Park just started a municipal cross club team. I, I believe they did. I'm not 100% positive on that. I believe they did. Yes, yeah, so, um, I, I know, like, uh, uh, going from people from Abington, and I was talking to them a couple years, like they said years ago, when they first tried to do the team, <coughs> What they did is they raised money to get uniforms in the buses. They paid for the buses. And everything was done through the school. Like they, they basically you know, raised the money themselves, donated to the school to pay for the teams. And, you know, Club team that I'm talking about, we, we would try to get you in that league with all the other teams. Right. right. This, this, you're not going to be after all. We're going to try to get you in that league. Right. I don't know if they were accept us or not accept us. So it would be good school. It would be through the school team as a club not, program right, representing the borough of Dunham. You have a use of the facility. Again, we would, we would try and, and, and work with you on that and do the best we can. Obviously, everybody's in favor of doing this. There's nobody that doesn't want to do it. We just don't have the money. But I mean, if, if you have the yeah, money, sure sure like, and yeah. we can't charge kids because there are kids that you can't talk to that pay. Right? The parents don't have the money. You know, some people do, and, and that's great, but some kids don't, and, and we can't discriminate based on the fact that, you know, we have to pay them. Oh, I understand that. So it, it's just not fair. I, 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 that was just like, I know the school, I want this, I want to say this, I don't know, I don't say that was something they were looking at to help offset the cost. And obviously, that's something you can look at down the road, and, and God knows what will happen next year when right. we have a new governor, or maybe the governor now is seeing what's happening, and, Maybe he's going to start funding education. Uh, I, I don't know that. I'm hoping. But you know, in the meantime, uh, that's something you could at least explore. And, and Mr. McDonald, myself, I'm happy to work with you. Yeah, I do know. Um, I got, that was like one, one issue I always had was, like in Sherwood Park, where we do our lead, we are, we've overgrown over that park. We're at 500 kids. Honestly, last year only had 450 kids. Um, it, which shows a great that you know, we have a lot of interest in, in the sport. And I'm afraid, you know, I'm afraid, I'm you know, happy that it's going to grow, but at the same time I'm nervous because I don't know where to put all these kids. And even this, this coming season, I'm like, we can only play some of the games on a Saturday, and we have too many teams to do that at good. Um, I know there are, there are like other leagues, and people are doing stuff going to the club leagues and stuff like that. 
it all breaks up different. And I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if we'd be able to play in with the junior high program if we were called a club team. That's what we're going to try to find out. That'd be great. All right. Thanks, Brian. That would be great. Yeah. If I could just say one more thing to the subject. If you I could come up, please. And, and I promise we'll drop it. <laughs> um, my twin girls who are on the soccer team, uh, high school soccer team, I have to say, you know, Coach Balch, who started the whole EGR thing back in 1984, you know, is a great coach and stuff. But having these other teams at other schools who do have junior high experience that have junior high teams, it reflects on the high school team. I will not lie, it reflects. So if they're getting better because of their junior high experience and we're just sustaining at high school, it reflects. I think the left, yeah. Good point. Thank you. summer school program that we've lost the finance for. We've done a lot of things to try to keep up with that. It's very difficult. I can play that. The, the explanation and the information you gave out is very good. Thank you. So, and 
the other update, and we've been going back and forth in a very good way. It was just on the schedule. I wasn't asking a specific plan, but what, where is he and what's his status? Yeah, he, um, I emailed him. He didn't want me to give out because he's going to do five schedules. And we weren't looking for that. We didn't want to, he didn't want to think we give out one, and then there's rumors in the town, oh, their kids are going to start at this time and that time. He's, got, he's going to have five schedules. Okay? He emailed us today, and Mr. Hopkins is in the back. We, he wants a meeting with us in three weeks to see, to kind of finalize where he's actually going to go with, with everything. Any hope for implementation for the fall? He said no. no. He said no. But I think if, if you do it right, you have a little patience. In the long run, if you rush something in there, I did ask him that when you had asked me, you asked me, you might make a mistake. Because the five schedules, they're all going to have positive and negative yep. things. One of the problems we do have, he says, is this cafeteria. He said that straight out. Your cafeteria is not large enough to, to make a lot of change. Right. Because you know, this isn't large enough. Right. So thank you. Please update us after that meeting. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Gene Sagan is custodian in accordance with the agreement with the Dunmore Educational Support Personnel Association. Motion by Mr. Kofel. Second. Seconded by Mr. Morocco. All in favor? Opposed? Motion, please. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Walton. Motion to approve changes to the Dunmore School District guidelines for interscholastic sports and extracurricular activities policy. The change will be that if a student is failing two or more subjects, they will be academically ineligible to participate in sports or extracurricular activities. Mr. Hanna, can I just comment on that? 
Mr. McDonald? That, the PIAA guideline was three, failure three. We didn't think that was stringent enough, so we're only going to allow fail two. That includes all the sports, but the clubs, the drama clubs, the bands, the chorus, and any other Spanish club, they're not going to be allowed to fail three like they used to be. Now they can only fail two. Hopefully they won't fail any, but that's, that's a much stricter uh, stance for, for our school district for those students. That's all. Motion by Mr. Holcomb, seconded by Mr. McHale. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion, please. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Morocco. Motion to approve the following payrolls, May 23rd, 2014, $306,968.52. June 6, 2014, $310,561.14 for a grand total of $617,529.66. Motion by Mr. Morocco. Second. Seconded by Mr. Dirk. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion to accept the treasurer's report for the months of May 2014. Motion by Mr. McHale. Second. Seconded by Mr. Morocco. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion to approve payment for list of bills amounting $524,728.18. Motion by Mr. McHale. Second. Seconded by Mr. Butler. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion to accept activities, activities report for the month of May 2014. Motion. Motion by Mr. Morocco, second by Mr. Kofel. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion to approve the wage tax collector's report for the month of May 2014. So. Motion by Mr. McHale. Second. Seconded by Mr. Kofel. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion, please. Mr. McHale. To approve agreement with CSIU for a web-based student information system at a cost of $50 per student and for accounting software at a cost of $4.03 per student to fund accounting, $4.65 per student for payroll, and $1.64 per student for personnel. Motion by Mr. McHale. Second. Second by Mr. Dirk. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion, please. Chairman. Mr. Morocco. Motion to approve the school leader liability policy renewal for the 2014-2015 school year. The policy is with the school board's insurance company of Pennsylvania Incorporated. Lizzie Kelly Insurance Agency is the producer. The cost of the policy for the 2014-2015 school year is $12,970, which equates to an increase of $630. Motion by Mr. Morocco. Second. Second by Mr. McHale. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion, please. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Hall. A motion to approve a contract with Physio Control for technical service for the district's ADD machines. The cost of the contract is $2,475, covering June 1, 2014 through May 31, 2015. Motion by Mr. Hall. Second. Second by Mr. Kopel. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion, please. Mr. Morocco. Motion to approve the contract with the NEIU number 19 for the video streaming in the amount of 82 cents per student for the 2014-2015 school year. That's an increase of 2 cents per student in the last school year. Motion by Mr. Morocco. Second. Second by Mr. McHale. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion, please. Mr. Morocco. Motion to approve the tax resolution appointing professionals for the purpose of refinancing the school district series of 2009 general obligation bonds. RBC Capital Markets, an LLC, to serve as the underwriter in the law firm of Haggerty, Hickey, and Cosgrove. Professional corporations will be acting as the bond counsel. Final question? I was just going to ask that. Yeah. I just want to make sure that there was a quote there. Uh, Mr. Morocco,
Mr. Butler? Yes. Mr. Durfee? Yes. Mr. Cowling? Yes. Mr. Holt? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Mr. Kale says yes. Mr. Sumo? Yes. Mr. Morocco? Yes. The motion was made by Mr. Morocco. Seconded by Mr. McHale. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Say not. Motion, please. Mr. Butler. Both shooters have the Auditor General's report dated June 12, 2014 for a period January 4, 2012 through October 24, 2013 in compliance specific to state subsidies reimbursement for years ended June 30, 2011 and June 30, 2012. Motion by Mr. Butler. Second. Seconded by Mr. Durkin. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion, please. Mr. McHale. To approve a proposal from the School Board of Insurance Company of Pennsylvania, PSBA, for workers' compensation insurance effective July 1, 2014. Total premium is $57,411. Lizzie Kelly is the agent. It's an increase of $1,437 over the last year. Motion by Mr. McHale. Second. Seconded by Mr. Morocco. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Under new business. Uh, I myself would like to comment, but the gentleman is here tonight. It's not often that we get a chance to uh, tell them what a good job they do. Uh, Gary, the grounds during for graduation, outstanding. Everything was very good. The baseball field was well kept. Like I said, it's not often that we get a chance to compliment you and the rest of the staff here. They do a fine job, and, and, and this board truly appreciates it. Like I said, graduation, I got a ton of compliments on how well these grounds are kept. And I know you have a lot to do with that, so congratulations. And like I said, this board appreciates it. Very much. Anything else on the new business? Nothing under the president's report. Mr. Ferris isn't here. I'm just filling in. Uh, Mr. McDonald, superintendent's report. Yes, I would just like to take a moment to thank all of our teachers, our support staff, our administrators, our custodians, and maintenance that you're considering to support staff members. They did a great job this year. We had a very successful school year, and I hope everyone has a great summer. That's all I have, Mr. Allen. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. Motion, please. Chairman. Mr. Morocco. Motion to accept the President's that Superintendent's report to be in of the minutes. Motion by Mr. Morocco, seconded by Mr. Butler. All in favor? Aye. This meeting is adjourned.